Bruce again with Lubrication Technologies. Today we're going to go over changing the cycle time on your pump to either deliver more or less lubricant. Uh, the first thing we need to do is remove the clear plastic cover which is located right on the front center of the screen. Uh, there are six Phillip head screws you'll need to remove to take that plastic cover off. We'll set that aside once we're done. Uh, the pump does go into a sleep mode if no buttons have been pressed for a, a certain period of time. Uh, one of the easiest ways to know where, where your pump is and it's time on or time off is there are three LED lights above and they will tell you whether the pump is in pause, pump mode, or alarm. As you can see, our unit right now, the green light above pause is lit, so our pump is in delay mode, as we call it. To get into the programming mode, we have to have the ignition on, which means we need to have power to the pump. And again, you would know if you have power by seeing the LED status, uh, one of them should be on. Uh, if your screen is blank and you want to know where we're at, you simply press the up arrow key, and this will make our screen illuminate. And this right now tells us that I have four minutes left in my delay time until this pump come on, comes on and runs again. So let's enter the programming mode. We do that by simply pressing and holding the enter key for approximately three seconds. And that's going to take us to E-CN. From there, I simply need to press the up button to go through my pump's pre-programmed status. E-FU just tells me that I'm going into the uh, programming mode. And your first parameter will be E-PN. E-PN is your pause time in minutes. To enter and see what this value is set at, we're going to press the M button. And currently, my delay time is set at eight minutes. I'm okay with that. I'll press the M button to bring me back out to the programming menu, and we will continue on. Again, I will press the up, up button, and this would be my pause time in hours if we so chose to program it that way. This particular setup, we have chosen no hours. So this pump is only in delay for eight minutes with no hour setting. We'll leave this at zero. We'll go back to our programming menu. And this particular pump is set up to uh, pump and rotation count. E-CL will tell me how many rotations this pump is set for. Again, we're gonna press our M button to enter that parameter and see what the setting is. So this particular pump is programmed for 18 rotation counts and we can program in more rotation counts. The higher the rotation count, the more lubricant it will deliver. The lower the uh, rotation count, the less lubricant it will deliver. So we're gonna change this from 18 rotations. Let's just say we wanna change it to 45. We'll program in 45 rotation counts. And to exit this, again, we'll press the M button. So we've got an eight minute delay time and a 45 rotation count time set. What we need to do is press the up button again and this brings us back to our original E-CN. Here we're going to simply press and hold the enter key again for three seconds. This forces our new codes into the pump. So as you can see it started counting down from 45 rotations. It'll finish out its rotation count and then transition into its delay time where you'll see eight minutes come across the screen. As you can see, our pump just finished up its rotation count and it's now in delay time. So the screen also went blank because no buttons have been touched for a uh, certain amount of time. Again, if we wanna see the display screen, we just simply press the up button. And this tells me I have about seven minutes left before this pump comes on and runs another cycle. So we have a document that we can send out to our customers 
that will go over the steps in the flow chart as we just went over to change your rotation count. And they start with uh, holding the enter button for three seconds and it'll walk you through each individual step. To change the rotation count, you can see here we've highlighted the steps in yellow. Um, and we will also do a separate video to tell you how to change the, your time on and time off if that is the way that your pump is programmed. Lastly, I wanna mention, once you have changed your cycle time, it is very important to put the plastic screen back on. Uh, this helps prevent any water from getting in the timer uh, and anybody from accidentally hitting any buttons or, or changing the cycle time. We're gonna press and hold our enter key to get into the programming mode. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing our time from our uh, cycle counts to time on and time off. Because right now this pump is programmed to count rotations. So we're in our programming mode again, which is E-CN. What we're gonna do is go to E-FU. And we're gonna press our M button. And what we're gonna be looking for is again, we have a document we can send to our customers that'll help walk you through this. But we need to be in FU-PL. Once we're there, we're gonna go, go ahead and press our M button. And then we're going to press the up key. E-PN would be my pause time in minutes, which is eight minutes. E-PH would be my pause time in hours, which we have no hours programmed into this pump. And go back out to the programming mode. E-LS, this is my work time in minutes. This is our work time in seconds. As you can see, we have 30.5 seconds on the screen. We're gonna leave that on there. Then we have E-LN, which is our work time in minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one minute to this cycle time. We're gonna come out, out to the programming mode, press our up button. This is gonna take us back to E-CN. We're gonna go ahead and press and hold the enter key for three seconds. And this again, will restart the pump, forcing in our new parameters that we've programmed in. And our pump is gonna go ahead and count down through the one minute in 30.5 seconds that we have now programmed in for our, our on time. Once that time has been exhausted, you'll see in eight minutes pop up on the display screen and that'll be our pump going back into the delay time again. As you can see, the pump is exhausted the one minute time. We're now counting down through 59 seconds and it will continue to count down until it has reached zero and then it will be in delay time. So once again, our time on time has been exhausted and we're now into our delay time, which again, we approximately have about seven minutes left before this pump will come on and run another on time cycle which is programmed in at one minute, 30.5 seconds. Also too, it's very important, once you've made your time changes, that you reinstall the plastic cover using the six supplied Phillips head screws. This helps uh, aid in the outkeep of water or helps keep water out of the timer.